Hello guys and welcome and today I'm gonna show you how to do this. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna show you how to do a circle crop in Adobe Premiere 2020. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start Adobe Premiere. I have already got it started so it's all opened up and as you all know we got the timeline here we got the preview window here we got some op section with the FX and browsing files here so let's go ahead and add a couple files into our timeline so I got a couple files here we're just gonna throw them on a timeline in Adobe Premiere and so I have a picture and I have a video file here and I wanna add that picture to the video file and as you can see here so right now just overlay the actual footage so we want to make it smaller so for this you just got to left click on the file and then you can go here to the to the editing section and where it says scale you just gotta make it smaller make it like so whatever size you want it like let's say, when, let's say you want to have it at about 12 percent and that all depends on the size of your picture it, on the megapixel so if the bigger the picture the more you have to scale it down to make it smaller so right now you can see that we have this uh, cat here appears let's go ahead and just add a, a soft appearing like a dissolve action we just gotta press ctrl d for that and see when i put in this picture it just kind of slowly appears but it just doesn't look that great when you have like a square image you know we're gonna make it look quite much better so the first way you can do this is gonna be pretty simple but it's not the best way you can do this and I'm gonna show it to you anyway so you just gotta choose this file here and then go to the FX control and then under FX opacity you just gotta choose this circle or it's actually not a circle it looks more like oval so let's click on that and as you can see it kind of puts an oval here so what we can do, you see it's got this little blue tabs here, like blue squares. You can make it bigger. But the thing is with this kind of method, you have to guess and make it round as much as you can. It, you can't make it perfectly round. You just kind of have to eyeball it and just see, you know, how round it is. If you pull this, you can make it bigger. But, you know, this is not very accurate and I'm not a big fan of this one, this method. And it does work like you can let's see how it works here so as you can see it already looks much better and it looks pretty straight actually so you can see like we did a pretty good job but that's not always happening like this and sometimes it can be out of shape so if you want to make it precise and just make it look professional what you can do here let's go ahead to history here and we're just gonna delete all the stuff that we added so we're gonna come back to the same state we had before to the square image and see how much different it looks when you have a square image versus round right so the second way you can do this is going to be more professional and you can make it perfectly round for this you have to go to the fx section here and go to the video fx and then go to generate and go to the circle and then you just gotta drag this effect onto your file it could be a video file or it could be just a still picture doesn't matter so then just drag on it and as you can see there is a little dot appears here which we have to transform into our image so again you go to the effect controls here and then where you see this fx circle you just gotta scroll down and go to the blending mode and where the blending mode says none you just gotta choose stencil auto and it transformed into actual picture right now so now we just have to scale that little dot a little bit so it actually makes it bigger so instead of going to scale like we did before you just gotta go to radius and then just increase the radius and as you can see as more the more you increase the radius the more you get a perfect circle and once you get to the size that you want you just adjust the center of it just click on this number and just drag to the right or left and it's gonna adjust the up or down or left to right so yeah this is how it's basically done so let's go ahead and check it out and yeah you can see the cat just appears and it just stays there nice little circle here and this way you can do your logos in your videos or if you want to insert any other pictures it's just kind of nice you know it appears and then it looks more professional 
So I hope this video was helpful to you and you do like it. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Also click that like button and click the notification bell as well so you don't miss new videos. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. And if you have any comments, leave it in the comments section below and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.